That's a wonderful question. Two different quadratic equations have a common root. Let the three unique roots of the two equations be a, b and c. All of them are positive integers. So wonderful question. So big numbers sitting here. All of them are positive integers. Big ideas sitting here. All three are unique. So attention to detail, very important. a plus b plus c is 41. That's very tricky. There are lots of possibilities. And the product of the roots of one of the equations is 35. This is big. And so I'm going to say the roots are a, b and a, c. Product of the roots, one of the equations is 35. Wonderful. So 35 is a product of two positive integers. So, so 1 and 35 are 35 and 1. And 1 and 35, 35 and 1, 5 and 7, 7 and 5. This is one of the equations. So equations could be 1 and 35 or 35 and 1. So the common root here a would be 1 or a would be 35. So 1 plus 35 is 36. So b should c should be 5. Should be 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. Overall they add up to 41. So should be 29, 5 and 29, 7 and 29. This is a common root, remember, I am putting A here, common root, common root, 5, 5, 7, 7. So for all combinations, we have reimagined, we have figured out what value of C could be there because A plus B plus C is 41. The com now let's go to the choices. The common root is 29, not necessary, common root is not 29, it could be 1, 35, 5 or 7. The smallest among the roots is 1. So in this case it is 1, in this case it is 1, in this case there is no 1, the smallest root is 5. One of the roots is 5, might this be true, here the root is 5, here it is 5, 5, yeah that is true. Product of the roots of the other equation is 5, doesn't work. All of the above are possible but none are definitely correct, this is not even possible. Wonderful question, just step by step, this is a starting point. Because they're positive integers, product of two positive integers being 35, it's a big giveaway. We can, we can, we can figure out the rest from there.